Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. So in this video of polynomials, we shall continue with exercise 2.5. In this video, we shall study question 2. Now question 2 says, evaluate the following products without multiplying directly. So we have to find the product of these numbers, right? Without multiplying them, then if we don't have to multiply, then what we have to do? We have to use suitable identities. That means this question is going to be solved using any suitable identity. Now let us take a first part. We have to find the product of 103 and 107. Now easily 103 can be written as 100 plus 3 and 107 can be written as 100 plus 7 because square of 100 will be convenient, right? Square of 100, 3, 7 will be convenient. So this is the best way to write the factors. Now, if you compare it with identity 5, identity 5 says when our factors are x plus a into x plus b, the product is x square a plus b into x plus ab, right? So if you observe, there are three variables x, a and b. So we have to identify what is our x, what is our a, and what is our b so let us study these factors now 100 plus 3 and 100 plus 7 these are the two factors now if you compare it with the factors of the identity isn't x equal to 100 and a equal to 3 and b equal to 7 right now we have the product right we have the product x square a plus b into x plus a b now we will put the values in inside the product x is 100 so 100 square then a plus b 3 plus 7 into 100 that is that was x x was 100 right and a into b is 3 into 7 now further we will simplify 100 square is 10,000 3 plus 7 10 10 into 100 3 into 7 21 and 10,000 plus 1,000 plus 21 which is equal to 11021 so this is the product right so using the identity 5 we have found the product of these two numbers without multiplying them directly we are not multiplying 103 into 107 we are using identity to find the product right now let us take up second part in second part, we have to find the product of 95 and 96. 95 into 96. 95 can be written as 100 minus 5. And 96 can be written as 100 minus 4. Right? We have to take those numbers which are easy to calculate. Right? Square of 100 is very easy. Square of 5, square of 4 is easy. That's why we have taken 100 minus 5 and 100 minus 4. Now, let me write it because of minus sign let me write it as 100 plus minus 5 right this is one of the factor i can say and the similarly other factor 100 plus minus 4 i can write like this yes why i am writing this because when i'll use identity 5 it should exactly match the factors see over here x plus a isn't it same as 100 plus minus 5 that means what is my x what is my x over here x is 100 right a is minus 5 now come to next one x plus b x plus b isn't it 100 plus uh, minus 4 in bracket so my b is what minus 4 right so x is 100 a is minus 5 and b is minus 4 right now the product says of this identity when we have two factors x plus a x plus b then the product is x square a plus b into x and a b now let us put the values first of all x square first is x square what is our x x is 100 so 100 square a plus b into x that means minus 5 plus minus 4 into 100 outside it is 100 now a into b that means minus 5 into minus 4 right now further 100 square is 10,000 minus 5 and minus 4 because plus into minus is minus so minus 5 minus 4 is minus 9 100 as it is outside minus 5 into minus 4 is plus 20 right now 
let us further solve it 10000 minus 9 into 100 is what minus 900 and plus 20 now 10000 minus 900 is 9100 plus 20 9120 so we got the answer 9120 this is the product of 95 into 96 so again instead of multiplying it directly we are using identity 5 to solve it and find the product now in the third part we have to find the product of 104 and 96 now 104 can be written as 100 plus 4 and 96 can be written as 100 minus 4 right so only two numbers we are using 100 and 4 over here now we have 100 plus 4 100 minus 4 can you think of the identity which we are going to use yes so we are going to use identity 3 a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square now you will say what is my a so a is your 100 over here and b is your 4 over here right isn't it a plus b right and then a minus b so accordingly we can say my a is 100 and b is 4 now identity says that it is a square minus b square so accordingly a is 100 so 100 square b is 4 so 4 square 100 square is 10,000 4 square is 16 10,000 minus 16 you will get the answer 9984 this is the product right so this is it children hope you have understood question 2 where we were finding the product of two numbers using identities now in next video i will be taking question 3 thank you everyone have a great day ahead